Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this demo tutorial, we're going to look at panels. As a quick demonstration, I'm here in uh, Explorer with home page of the demo site. We have two buttons, login and contact. Click the login and the login access control comes up where you can put in your details and sign in to the site. Click X and it'll close. And here is contact. Click that and a contact box comes up. Contact form where you can put your name and then send a message. When you send the message, submit and the page gets sent to the capture, which is standard these days. Then you put in the word and submit. And back to the uh, page that you've set in, in the form as a redirect back to your site after um, sending the forming. Right, to demonstrate how this is done, close Explorer, back in Web Plus X5. Here we have the controls on this page. Contact, login, you see these two question mark circles they are the panels which are hidden from view while you're what once you've set them up and you uh, you're designing the page just so it's not in the way and obviously not only is it not in the way it's not visible when you upload your, onto your site uh, it only becomes visible when you click the buttons. Right, if we go over to this site here which has not got the buttons on or anything, we'll start. First off, you need to you need your panel. Click on the left hand toolbar and insert panel. You can give the panel a name if you like I'll call it control and then we can give it a color if you click this it, it click the button here it um, you got predefined colors or you can go into the panel designer where you can put any design you like for the, for the background of the panel and then commit it's the same sort of controls as the button uh, the button and background studios of the navbar once you're happy with that OK out and then you can click and drag a panel onto the page there we go and now we want a button here if you see my button tutorial uh, or, or even the navbar tutorial you'll know how to do this I've already set one up to save a bit of time. 
put it onto the page there. Okay. Right. So this button here is going to control this panel to make it visible and also invisible if required. So here's the panel. We're going to put an access control on it now. Click your smart objects. Select your access control. Insert. And put your access control on the panel. Now, if you click the panel to so you, so you've got a bounding box selected of the panel and then you here on the top toolbar you've got hide panel click like get that and you get the question mark with the green green circle so we're going to use this button to hide uh, to make it visible and to hide if need be the panel if you right click on the button and you'll see actions and you'll only have that in the right hand pop up menu on a button graphics or quick shape uh, to give actions to a panel anything else this will not be there click on it click add and visibility Select the panel from the drop down menu if need be, and then the event. This is what you can do with the panel either to show it or hide it, either roll over or on click. You can select from the menu here. I'm going to use show on click, hide when click elsewhere. And then you can control the speed on which it fades in. OK. And OK there. What we can do now, we can preview that just to show that it does work in Explorer. There it is. Click on it and it becomes visible. You might have noticed on my demo I had a, a, a circle with a cross in. That was a graphic. Uh, which I put on the panel and gave that graphic a um, an action to close that panel that it was on once it was clicked. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, there is more to do with panels, um, and I'll, I'll most probably do at least another one tutorial on this. Okay, goodbye.